the assignment. Monday is assignment day where Marissa Roth, my special guest, sets a photography challenge or a way to think about your picture making for the next week. Now, today, uh, I'm not going to do too much of a spoiler, but it's about the characters we meet, those we bump into, those we notice, the people that you think, hmm, you would make a wonderful story. It's a challenge for everyone, whatever kind of photography interests you. Whatever camera you hold, film, larger format, DSLR, mirrorless, compact, smartphone, it's really just about the picture that you see. And as always, there's a show page on the website, photowalk.show. I'd love you to share the pictures you make for this challenge, and uh, I'll upload them to the show page. Uh, for this edition, you can check back, of course, to see pictures from previous editions too. We upload as often as we possibly can. It's fantastic to get your pictures, and there's uh, quite a few coming through at the moment, so bear with us as they get uploaded to the, the relevant show pages for your assignments. And before we meet Marissa, my thanks to our wonderful patrons at mpb.com who sponsor this show, the number one company in the UK, the US and Europe, with bases in Brighton and Brooklyn and Berlin uh, when it comes to buying and selling and trading quality used camera kit online. A safe place to do business, guarantees upon what you buy as well. So let's meet our guest for today, setting you a challenge for the new week. The assignment. Now, Marissa, I like this second assignment very much because often I see characters and I think you would make a cracking story. Not a long story, just a short story, something that says something about you. But the way you're going to set this particular assignment is making me think that that picture can be many other pictures, that it can be, let's call it a study almost of somebody. But I don't, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to set your assignment. That's what you're here to do. So what is the second assignment? So um, thanks, Neil, again, for having me. Um, so the second assignment is to create a small photo essay, which really, yes, is a study of one, in this case, one person, hmm. and to tell a small story about that person. I would like, I suggest, you know, six images to be the final. Mm -hmm. And from a formal perspective in terms of, you know, what are the key images in a photo essay, I've narrowed that down to six. So for the six images, the first one is a formal portrait. Right. The second image would be more of an environmental portrait to show, you know, obviously the broader sense of the person's life. Um, the third photograph would be what I consider to be a scene setter. So this can be with or without the person, but to give a wide shot that gives a sense of place. Let's say you're photographing someone, you know, in their home. So maybe you would go outside and go across the street and um, take a photograph oh. of their home, yeah. you know, on their block or something like that. So I'm thinking at the moment of a wood turner, uh, some, some work we did recently with the mm -hmm. um, photographic retreat, where that third picture, that scene setter, would have been, and he had this fantastic, um, sorry, I know you're in the middle of the numbers, but um, he had this fantastic workshop. If you would have, and you'd have loved it, you'd have, it would have been like a kid in a candy shop for you. It really would. Uh, if you'd have just taken, I don't know, 10 steps back, you had this wonderful, just small window in this Scottish retreat uh, of him at his lathe working. Uh, or his turn, uh, would have been, is it lathe, the turning? Anyway, he was there working, sort of hunched over this machine. That's, that's, I suppose it's a bit environmental, but actually it's a good scene setter because it's his building. Yeah, but the, the environment, the difference would be an from an environmental portrait where on the environmental portrait, he would be more static, engaged with the photographer. Ah, right. Whereas what you're talking about is, could actually be number six as well, which is what I call sort of the action with the subject doing something. Okay. And that could actually be close up, you know, where you're actually in there with him, with his hands, you know, on the lathe or the saw or something. Um, right. Okay. So yeah, that's exactly it. To give to give a sense of a place, what the French would call mise en scène, to place in the scene. Mm. So, yes. 
Uh, Sorry to interrupt. No, number four. No worries. I, you know, I love these conversations. No, I, I, was, I, was, I was now beginning to sort of imagine my portrait. Yeah. Well, maybe if you ever go back there, you could do a little series. Oh, I am next year. So anyway, <laughs> num- number four. <laughs> number four. So number four is a still life. Mm-hmm. So as it relates to the subject. So in, in the case of your woodworker, you know, maybe it's a, a photograph of a finished piece. Or maybe it's a photograph of his toolkit, mm. something like that. Or sha- um, shavings on the floor. Shavings on the floor, yeah. which can look like something almost abstract, yeah. depending on how you, you, what the perspective is that you use. Number five is a detail shot. So again, something you know much tighter. So yes, it could be a detail of his hands working a tool. It could be a, a close-up of the shavings oh, yeah. or even like something, in, in the, again, coming back to the subject, the edge of a blade, you know, where you see yes. you know, the, yeah. the sawing teeth or something. Yeah. Um, again, it all relates to the subject. And then the sixth one, again, would be the action shot. So the, the subject doing something, working, maybe hauling wood, something like that. So those are the six images. Because I managed to interrupt halfway through, which is... Uh... <laughs> Which is something I always got told off for doing in school. Let, let's um, let's go back over those six again. Just give me one, two, three, four, five, six. And as you're doing it, I am imagining um, somebody, but I'm not thinking of my wood turner. I'm thinking of uh, a fabulous mechanic that lives literally. I'm pointing like you would see this house, who lives literally four minutes up the road from here. His name is Fred. He has held on to this old farm building where this estate has grown around him and bought every ounce of land apart from his and he has in his land these wonderful old workshops oily messy disorganized clutter everywhere but he knows these workshops like the back of his hand and i am thinking of fred while I'm going through these six points, because I'm going to go and make my portrait of Fred for this second assignment. Okay. Number one, Mm. a formal portrait. Number two, so a formal portrait traditionally is is vertical. So let's do a traditional formal vertical portrait. Mm -hmm. Uh, The environmental portrait would be number two. So that I would say, let's do that as a horizontal. The subject does not have to be in the middle of the frame, just as a qualifier, but should be looking at the camera. Number three is our scene setter. So wide shot with or without the person Mm -hmm. that gives a sense of place and basically sets the whole story into context. Number four is a still life that reflects who the person is in their environment. Number five, a detail of something could be something that relates to the person physically or to their environment. And number six is an action shot of the subject doing something, not looking at the camera. Fred, I'm coming for you. (laughs) (laughs) And that's our challenge for this week. I like this one. I'll be delighted to see what you produce and would love to show them on today's corresponding show page on the website, photowalk.show. Just go to episode 355. Music on the show is from artlist.io. Neil Ford, Emily Renier and Andrea Gilpin, thank you for your uh, tireless support work behind the scenes. And I look forward to photographing with you, hearing from you and talking with you on the photo wall. The assignment is a Loading Zone production.